Point and click horror adventure games are part of the comfort food that PC gamers have enjoyed for a very long time. Rarely do we see these type of experiences for console. Today I am going to be talking about one of the rare instances of a game of this type but for console. Hi everyone my name is Jeremy and this is my non-spoiler review for Seduction Amongst Fate for PS5. This game was developed by Coex Studio and published by East Asia Soft. Seduction Amongst Fate follows the story of a monk named Lee, who gets transported to another realm that is dark and horrifying. There, you start to notice that there is a dark hidden truth regarding the temple where you live and now it is up to you to solve the mystery and escape this dark realm. The story in this game is presented through dialogue, character interactions, documents and texts that you find throughout the game. Also, the game features very artistic still images and cutscenes with different artistic elements to present the story in a visually interesting way. Sadly, there is no voice acting, so you're gonna be reading all of the dialogue. The story is very interesting, easy to follow, and presented in a very well-paced way. Regarding the visuals of the game, this is a 2D game with hand-drawn visuals. The game has a contrast design between the environments and the character models, where the environments are very rich in detail, while the character models are more simple in design. The game locations are visually interesting and feature many places that are designed to showcase a surreal realm. So, in regards to the music and sound design of the game, I have to say that it's very bare bones. The music is very uninteresting and you barely notice it. You can hear when it loops and it adds nothing to the atmosphere of the game. The same applies for the sound effects. In regards to the gameplay, Seduction Amongst Fate is a 2D side-scrolling horror adventure game where the main focus of the gameplay is to find items, to use them, to open new paths and solve puzzles. This game adds some elements to make the gameplay more interesting. Like for example, there are some enemy threats throughout the game. You have a dodge that you can use to evade certain attacks in a very specific and limited way. And you will find some threats that you will have to deal with by running away or moving in specific moments. Additionally, the game features quick time events that you need to get right to progress during certain situations. Finally, the game features a praying mechanic that is used in diverse ways like for example to reveal items or to vanquish some enemies. This is a short game that can be finished between 1 to 2 hours depending on how fast you play. The game supports multiple languages and has two difficulty settings, normal and hard. So let's talk about the cons and pros of the game. In what we regards to the shortcomings of the game, I have to point out two things. First of all, and the most important one, the sound design. The game's sound design and music were its weakest aspect. The music was very uninteresting and added nothing to the gameplay experience and to the atmosphere. It felt uninspired and empty and you can hear the music track looping. The sound effects didn't add anything either, you barely noticed them. Secondly, some puzzle solutions are a little bit obtuse. This is more of a nitpick, but there were some puzzles where it was not very clear what you were supposed to do. This was kept to a minimum thanks to the hint system, but there there were still some instances where it happened. And with regards to the strong points of the game, I would have to point out two things. First of all, the visuals for the cutscenes and the environments. The game goes for a very detailed look in the environments while keeping the character models very simple. I was not a fan of the character models and animations, but the environments looked wonderful. They were rich in detail and visually interesting. Additionally, the artistic choice for some of the cutscenes were very good and made the presentation of the story very interesting. And secondly, the story. This game's story is what kept me going till the very end. The story is very original and interesting and presented in an intriguing but clear enough way so that by the end, you understand what happened. In conclusion, Seduction Amongst Fate brings the joy of point and click horror adventure games to consoles. Some basic but entertaining gameplay, rich and detailed environments, and visually interesting cutscenes accompany an intriguing story that is worth seeing through till the end. However, the horrible sound design, some obtuse puzzles, and boring character designs will be obstacles to surpass if you want to see the story till the end. For this reason, I recommend this game but with caution. So that's gonna be it for my non-spoiler review of Seduction Amongst Fate for 
PS5. This game is available for all consoles, so go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.